Well, I was gonna make a video and work in the garage, but this dust storm might say otherwise. Wow. I mean, it's all the way around. And I don't know if you're uh, familiar with the weather in Arizona, but we get these dust storms during monsoon season. Uh, I think they call them haboobs. So Google that and you'll see it's like a giant wall of dust that just surrounds the city. But they're kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it will just like, wind will blow real hard and downpour. We'll get like three or four inches of rains in minutes and uh, then it'll be gone. And then it's humid as hell and hot and sticky and why do I live here? <laughs> Beach shovel and snow, so someone's pulling up in a yellow Camaro with racing stripes. I was just pizza guy for the neighbors. I wish I was getting pizza. Maybe I should order pizza instead of making a video. Nah, let's make a video. All right, guys. So the last time I said I was gonna start making the hot side for the turbo since I got that new bandsaw, and I kind of feel bad because I was so excited I started working on it, and I didn't have my camera or anything. Um, so I, I basically got the hot side figured out and put together, but I'll show you what I did. Um, basically, I just came out here like every night after work and just worked for like a half hour or so and did like one piece, one transition, and then I went back inside and the next night did a little bit more. It was kind of boring, so I didn't film any of it. But um, I'll show you what I did, how it's gonna lay out. Basically, it's, it's nothing new. If you've ever seen anyone else on YouTube doing a single turbo on an LS and an S10, they basically have the same same design. There's not a whole lot of different ways to do it. So I just kind of did my rendition and uh, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get the pieces out, mock them back up for you and uh, show you how the turbo is going to be mounted and we'll go from there. All right, so here's the pipes that I've got made up. This one's my crossover from the driver's side over to the other side, the little transition. And then here's the, the merge to the turbo collector, turbo flange, uh, with the wastegate put in there. Um, I just made this out of scrap that I had laying around from when I did the C10. Uh, you'll notice some of it's stainless steel, some of it's mild steel. Um, I don't really care. <laughs> uh, basically just used what I had. Um, it will all get coated or wrapped. Um, this one, these two are just still tacked up. I got to fully weld them. This one I started welding, grinding down smooth, makes it look a little bit better. Uh, still got to weld the flange on fully. See if I'm happy with the position of the turbo, but I'll get these mocked up and show you how it's going to lay out. All right, so there's how the exhaust is gonna lay out. But yeah, over here, the my power steering lines are gonna be a little, little close. When I first started doing this, in my head, I was gonna convert this to a manual steering gearbox and not run power steering. Um, but in the last like week or two, I've driven a couple trucks, like C10s, with a, with a manual steering gearbox in them. And for this to be streetable, I just decided to do power steering. So I went and got this uh, 
this bracket from Dirty Dingo, which is designed to use a Type 2 power steering pump, which is what the S10 originally came with. Um, it's designed to use the F-body Camaro pumps with the, I think it's a Jeep Grand Cherokee um, reservoir on the side of it. This one's remote reservoir. So, and the pulley offset is a little bit different on the S10 as you can see. So if I swap this to a Camaro pulley and do a remote reservoir, I'll be good to go. And then it's also designed to fit the GM alternator. But that just moves the power steering up out of the way. Um, when I had this bracket on there, basically the power steering pump was just too low and put it like right here, right into this pipe. And it was just, it, just too much uh, clearance issues. So that's when I initially decided to do power or to do manual steering and then changed my mind again to do power steering but like I said I, I want to drive this thing on the street I don't want to be fighting the steering and having to do the you know you see the guys pulling with both arms to turn it just going through the parking lot so I think this should work fine I may have to either put a little dent in the pipe right there for that uh, return line on the gearbox or if I get really carried away I'll just do a little whoop-de-doo with a, a couple bends and and splice that in there but not a big deal um, the other issue I gotta figure out is the steering shaft um, a lot of guys on these are saying that a, a Jeep Grand Cherokee steering shaft fits in there because it's a smaller diameter shaft with smaller joints um, I've set my engine lower in the cross member than most guys do um, so I don't think that's really gonna work for me, but I might go to the junkyard and, and pull one out and see. I've got some of this double D steering shaft left over from the C10, and it, it fits right inside the stock steering column hole. So it's pretty close to lining up. It doesn't hit the manifold. see it's pretty close but it doesn't hit but the gearbox is like right here coming out so I may be able to just do a, a u-joint there and a u-joint here and get it to kind of come on an angle into there maybe do a minor um, grinding here maybe have to weld in a piece of like a half piece of tube or something but I've seen other guys do that, um, but yeah, that's kind of the only things that I got to figure out now. Um, uh, basically, I just need to go ahead and fully weld all these seams, fill those gaps that you probably seen earlier on the pipes, um, and the hot side should be done. I also forgot to mention what I did on the passenger side manifold. You can kind of see, you can see there that I just basically cut the collector off and made a straight pipe. Um, I'll put a picture up right now of how it looked when I did it. Um, but like I said, nothing that hasn't ever been done before. Um, you can see this all over YouTube, guys doing this stuff. So that's just kind of what I went with. All right, I think that about does it for this video. Um, like always, like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next one.